Hey my loves, what's up and welcome back to the Trend Diaries. I'm Nidhi and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a makeup kit under rupees 300 for beginners. So if you want to know all that I like in the beginners makeup kit, then please continue watching. Okay, so let me put out a disclaimer first. You're going to be hearing some renovation noises because it's just happening you guys and I cannot stop them nor can I stop this bad weather oh my god it's a tough time for bloggers to shoot during the rainy season anyways I'm really sorry for the external voices but uh, that being said now let's begin with the video so these are the two boxes I'm having full of makeup recommendations for beginners so let's begin with skincare first we will talk about some moisturizers so the very first moisturizer I would recommend is the Pond super light gel moisturizer a really really good moisturizer smells heavenly and is again under the budget it just retails for rupees 2.99 one rupee under the budget a really good lightweight moisturizer especially if you're having oily skin type then go for this if you're having um, a dry skin type then you can also go for uh, the Nivea light moisturizer the white tub one even that's really good I'm not having the chodu tub right now with me so I'm just saying out loud third one I would recommend is the Patanjali's aloe vera gel I freaking love this product so I love it for my hair for my skin for my body uh, now this does have added color into it uh, but it's really good and very inexpensive just like 90 rupees for this huge uh, bottle so yeah those were the two moisturizers and the last moisturizer that I really really love is this now this is meant for babies but why not I really like the Johnson's baby cream uh, this is the original one you also get a rice rice something kind of a uh, mint kind of packaging in the same one this is really good uh, moisturizer you guys you know it makes my skin so baby soft and this again just retails for um, 53 rupees moving to our makeup category the very first thing we need for starting off our makeup is primer now primers are really essential and you want some good primers so I would definitely recommend you all to try the blue heaven uh, studio perfection primer now these are a silicone based primer so you just need a pea size and spread it all over your face this is really good it also controls oil and uh, you know makes your makeup stay put and last throughout the day so this primer retails for exact rupees 300 but never buy it on 300 rupees you would always get discounts on blue heaven i personally got this for just 250 rupees from my local store so that was the primer you would have all the products listed in the description yeah just in case i forget to mention any and you're not into foundations currently then you might want to try be creams or CC creams one is the Lakme 9 to 5 uh, CC cream and I'm having the shade 03 bronze while this is the pawns uh, um, white beauty which I do not like at all why do they call it but it's uh, the pawns a uh, BB cream so this is in the shade 0 to medium sadly if you're my skin tone and blessed with a deeper beautiful skin than mine then these would not work for you even for my skin tone these are still light so I think these would work for people around NC35 to NC40 only. The Lakme one retails for 99 bucks while the Pons one retails for 82 rupees. Now this is the smaller size you also get a bigger one in this if you want to try that out. So yeah those were the two BBCC creams that I have. On to foundations my very first recommendation is going to be this foundation which was my holy grail from the day I started my YouTube journey. I used to use this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matteless Poreless Foundation. Now this bigger bottle really details uh, now for 500 rupees but uh, you also get the same Maybelline foundation in tube forms which retails for 299 so you can grab those because that is again a budget this is the foundation I would really recommend if you are a beginner and just starting off with your makeup journey and learning around uh, so definitely try this one out uh, you would like it just that if you are having a dry flaky kind of skin this does cling on to the dry patches still it is a good foundation and does have a really good shade range so you can definitely try this one out in foundation recommendation will be these these are the blue heaven high coverage uh, foundation with primer it also has SPF 50 plus into it so this is how the packaging looks like it's one of their newest launches so I'm wearing this foundation on currently you can see that um, it is giving me a good base now the very first time I tried this I was like okay ish about this foundation but 
you know it does look really good especially if you're not having textured or dry skin if you're having dry patches again this is gonna cling onto those patches but now that I do not have dry patches on my skin so it's laid very beautifully on my skin uh, I use the shade 03 by the way and uh, yeah uh, that's not the darkest shade you also have another shade which is 04 which would work for around um, NC 44 to 45 ish so yeah that is the foundation now this is MRP at 350 but again never never uh, get blue heaven products on the MRP price you will always find them at discount so again you can grab these for really low up to 300 rupees when on sale you know along with the price point I do not want to recommend a very uh, kind of products so I really wanted to show some products which you can you know wait for the sale to come like 50 70 rupees upper niche chalta hai like you know you can do that much of yeah i hope you get it and the best concealers out of the concealers i'm showing right now will be these these are the wet n wild uh, photo focus concealers and i'm having two shades one is my skin tone match and the other one is a highlighting concealer by far the most beautiful natural lightweight finish concealer i love this concealer i've been using this since such a long time and i do have backups of these concealers it is so damn good these aren't priced at rupees 300 these are priced around 400 or 450 ish something i don't remember but i personally got these for 350 one shade while the other shade i got it for 374 rupees so 50 70 rupees upper niche you know you can just um, increase your budget if you want a really good concealer and especially if you're a beginner try these concealers out Here's from purple uh, this one is the n by bay liquid concealer now the coverage on these concealers is sickening you guys the coverage is sickening the packaging is very flimsy though <laughs> i've literally broke them but uh, anyways that doesn't matter these are really cheap under budget for 195 rupees mrp really really good coverage giving concealers just the problem with these concealers is that they crease within three hours of wear so if that's a thing that uh, you mind a lot then uh, do not try these out but other than that the coverage is really like i was shocked when i saw the coverage on these still i do not personally like using these because these crease very very soon and i do not like a creasy concealers because i do have a lot of fine lines under my eyes so those were the ny bay liquid concealers so once our base is laid next we go and set our base with powder so for that i'm having these powders right here the very first one is the maybelline uh, super fresh uh, compact powder now i have the shade uh, shell which looks like this uh, still kind of works for me it does have spf into it okay i don't remember the price this is again in budget compact powder if you want to try then definitely you can try this out other than this uh, maybelline fit me powder is also there which is again really good the circular packaging one it also has three four shades for regular wear you can use those powders the actual fit me powder the square component that is really bomb but it's slightly costly it goes up than 300 rupees so if you are under the budget and want to stick to some good powder then you can try this one out or even the lacme radiance compact i'm not having it right now because i threw it it was expired but other uh, pink colored packaging lacme one that is again a good powder for everyday use as well still if you are looking for some really good powder then try this one out uh, this is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette and in this basically you get a bronzing shade as well as half side of the pan is a banana powder the powder is really good you guys so you can definitely try this one out as well so the mrp of this duo is 500 but like if you see it's 250 250 and the bronzer is really bomb as well so i'll be showing it in the bronzer category so it's like comes in the budget so definitely try this one out as i said after powdering we move on to bronzing for that i'll be recommending this bronzer from the mega glow contouring palette now as i said this does retail for 500 499 but i personally got this for just rupees 250 250 from hawk makeup so 250 divided by 2 is even lesser so uh, i really really love this palette always and always you can find wet and wild products on steel prices so definitely check out for them and then only purchase them do not purchase it for the mrp for bronzing up a skin we like to add some color back to our face for that we need some blushes and these are my recommendations my faves are these 
these are the LA colors rad rouge blushes super pigmented very very blendable easy to work with a uh, packaging is bomb and really really good shade range you get i think 14 to 16 shades of blushes in this range like oh my god i love these blushes the packaging is bomb you get this kind of circular packaging the blushes right here you get a nice mirror beneath and you also get a brush like this actually the price is uh, slightly higher it retails for 500 or something but from a really long time these blushes are slashed everywhere i see them at flat 50 percent off and you get them for just 295 rupees so definitely try this out i'm having three shades with me this one is popping this one is a nude shade icon which i am wearing right now on my face and this one is a beautiful a pink purple based blush shade which is radical as i said i would have all the products linked in the description so it's better for you to you know list it and add to your wish list so these were the blushes i highly recommend second blush i would recommend is this one this is the wet n wild color icon blush again i love this blush so so much this is the shade mellow wine now if you are my skin tone or deeper than me this shade is gonna look fabulous on you guys this is such a stunning stunning shade absolutely love this again this retails for 299 rupees but i got it for 170 180 ish during the sale time and that's how huge the pan is you get this uh, bin kam ka brush along with it but the blush is really good <laughs> Now they have uh, revamped the packaging and now you get those circular packaging with you know improvised formula but you have the same shade there available as well. The next step is highlighting and for that I'm having these recommendations right here. The very first one is this liquid highlighter from NY Bay and this retails for MRP 275 so again we are in the budget range and this is so blinding you guys it's really really gorgeous and uh, it does have slightest bit of silver glitter when you just blend it you can uh, see the glitter ish into it but other than that it looks very stunning on the skin and it does have a uh, perfume into it let me head out that but the shade you guys this is such a beautiful champagne gold shade i absolutely love the shade so this was the stay quirky one if you're not into liquid highlighters then you might want to try out these from wet n wild so these are the mega glow highlighting powders from wet n wild again these are priced at 499 which is not in our budget but but wet n wild is on discounts and i personally grabbed these for just 374 rupees so again just 74 rupees up than a budget but really really good powders i am wearing the shade precious petals on my face right now absolutely love love the shade and uh, this uh, other one is the shade golden flower crown creamly pigmented buttery soft blinding to the moon and back i love this highlighter so yeah definitely if you can scale up a budget a bit and want a really good highlighter then definitely try these ones out for eyeshadow recommendation i would tell you to get this one if you are a beginner this is uh, the wet n wild uh, eyeshadow palette and this shade which i'm holding right now is known as rose in the air and this is how it looks like you get beautiful shades good highlighting shade now this is so creamy and so pigmented i even use this shade as my highlighter like my face highlighter and works very very good it is a really close shade to the wet n wild uh, golden flower crown highlighter but i love to use this shade as my highlighter and a mixture of both of these shades i am wearing on my eyes right now and you can also use a mixture of both of these brown shades for your bronzing so this is like such a versatile palette to have if you are a beginner you have eyeshadow blush highlighter bronzer every damn thing in it it's such a good palette and um one thing i would say that this does have a lot of kickback shades are very very pigmented so you have to have a light hand with it especially if you're bronzing or something just take little just little okay and while it has so many variants into this like the comfort zone um the nude awakening they have many many shade range so you can pick up any of those 10 pan palettes you would love them for your eyebrows i would recommend this a uh, very very inexpensive product uh, this was i guess from ny bay this is their brolin bridge eyebrow pencil it's, i think less than 100 rupees and is a really really good pencil just that go for the shade brown and not black because 
black would look too stark for your eyebrows even like for my kind of eyebrows which are dense you have to use a brown shade so that is a really good pencil you can see i've used it up so much and other than this uh, even the etude house uh, brow pencil is really good it retails for just 250 rupees again they have good three four shades it also has a spoolie so if you want to try out a good uh, branded kind of uh, eyebrow pencil then try out the etude house one I love wearing coals and kajals i would love to recommend these now the very first recommendation is going to be the k beauty um kajal pencil now this is the cheapest one she does and this is in a twistable form like this and the shade is spade it's really pigmented you guys you see i hardly applied any pressure it is so pigmented uh this does stay put for a really good amount of time 4 to 5 hours but if you're having very 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 watery eyes like mine this does kind of smudge but still the longevity is really really good and the pigment is bomb this does retail for mrp 249 ish something but on discount on discount you can get these for even lesser the recommendation will be the maybelline colossal kajal and uh, this i think retails for even lesser but again this is very black kajal you see uh, it's black but this does not stay for that long like the k beauty one but still it's a really good kajal for beginners i wore this for my entire college life literally in my like initial junior college time the kajals i used to wear were these and now these are the blue heaven soft kajal pencils now i'm having the colored one but it also comes in a black variant this would just stay for for our uh, ish of time onto your waterline and not more than that but i love these kajals so out of these four kajals i would highly recommend you to try out the k beauty one it's really paisa vasool kind of kajal definitely try this one out i have to recommend some eyeliners for you i have been wearing this lakme insta liner from so long and this again retails for like 110 something because this is not waterproof these are just water resistant my favorite shade from them this electric blue oh my god whenever i'm wearing an electric blue liner on my eyes i'm always asked by you guys it's this i love this these liners you know they need to be built up like 2 to 3 layers but I'm completely fine. These look so good and see it's completely dried out matte and I love them. Other the LA 18 ones, the pop liners or I don't know what they are called. They are even good as well for 90ish rupees something. I do not even want to include very cheap mascaras which do nothing because why what's the point yeah. So I haven't included them. I've kept in my mind quality as well as the price so bear with me for that. I cannot recommend this mascara enough. It is so good you guys. This retails for 510 something but I got it for 310 rupees on discount. So definitely try Maybelline when they are running discount. For uh, the lips uh, I have to recommend these uh, lip balms. These are the VLCC cocoa butter lip balms. These retail for I guess 30 rupees something yeah. 25 rupees these lip balms cost you. Uh, really good lip balms. I've used them a lot. If you want to try out some other lip balm, you can also try out the Vadi Herbals lip balm. I personally like the mint variant. Right now, I'm storing my Vaseline into it because I finished this up. But this comes in a green shade and feels very soothing on your lips. Again, this is uh, just priced at thirty-five rupees. And if you want to save a lot, then get this five rupees wala Vaseline. Best original. no tension at all I recommend some lip liners the very first lip liner is this uh, this is the wet and wild uh, color icon lip liner love this lip liner firstly the size is really long okay, this color chestnut it is such a beautiful uh, brown color with warm tones to it it looks absolutely gorgeous definitely try this one out it just retails for 125 rupees or something if you're looking for another budget friendly lip liner then try out the miss claire ones is known as snow pink and the other one is known as chocolate so these are the two shades again very inexpensive but good liners they are creamy and they do not tug your lips so these are again good lip liners to go for for lipsticks i'm having all of these recommendations uh, sticking to our budget i know i'm a lipstick hoarder and it's really difficult for me to you know cut down on my lipsticks but i wanted to keep quality along with the price and so i'm having a limited amount of lipsticks over here the very first lipsticks in creamy category which i would like to recommend are these uh, this is the nykaa so creme creamy matte while this is the maybelline a uh, creamy matte lipsticks these are really good 
good again these are priced at 299 rupees but uh, these go around 254 ish something on discount so you can give this a try a very beautiful nude shade especially if you're lighter than me this will be that perfect brown nude shade on you on me especially it does wash me out a bit i can use this but with a brown lip liner again from nika the creamy mattes these are again budget friendly 295 rupees something you get these and a very good shade range very creamy and swatches of these lipsticks you guys i'm not including in here because the video is going to be extremely long i have swatched all of these in separate videos i would leave the video links in the description box so you can check them out if you are into a matte lipstick but still it should be soft matte or comfortable matte then uh, you might want to try out these these are the miss claire soft matte lip creams i'm wearing one right now i would have the shades listed in the description i do own like 10 11 shades from this range and i have swatched them all i will leave the video link in the description but definitely a must try lipstick if you're more into liquid lipstick kind of person then you might want to try out these from maybelline uh, these are the maybelline sensational liquid matte now these are slightly creamy when you apply them but these are completely transfer proof and matte uh, liquid lipsticks do have really good shades as well my favorites are made easy and flush it red while these two slightly wash me out but if you're lighter than me you would have really good shades of nude colors in their range so you might want to try out these as well again these are priced at 300 something if not those you might also want to try out the lacme uh, liquid lipsticks these are the lacme forever matte liquid lip color so they had initially 20 shades and now they've added 10 more shades uh, the swatch video is going to be coming soon or might have come out till now i don't really know i'm having six i have swatched them all and these do not last for a really good amount of time just for four hours but the shade range and the lip colors are to die for and another recommendation would be the nika matte last liquid lipstick in the mini size these retail for 240 ish something but again you get a uh, mini uh, lipsticks to try out if you want to try out the bigger ones the last recommendation would be the blue heaven uh, sapphire matte lip color this is again very budget friendly these do have really good shades it is very pigmented it is matte um uh, this shade particularly is slightly darker vampy -ish shade but they have really good shade and for the price it's a year after applying so much of makeup you need some good makeup removal and for that i'll be recommending these two now this one is the og the garnier micellar water the smaller size one it retails for um 175 rupees so you can try this one out and the second one which i really like is the blue heaven by face makeup remover so it would also remove waterproof makeup and uh, this is again very uh, cost effective this is just for rupees 150 yeah those were the two micellar waters which are really really good but if you're a beginner and want to try out first try out the Garnier one now with that i finish my makeup kit for beginners under rupees 300 i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and my recommendations <sighs> I need some water <clears throat> I've talked for so long but sorry for the video quality the lights going on and off it's turning cloudy and gloomy but anyways I would have all of these products listed in the description along with the swatch videos and videos I've done so you might want to check out that so yeah with that being said I wrap up for today's video I'll meet you guys soon in my next one till then take care namaste and keep trending